Hi, we're here with uh, Peter Wasserbecker, who is, you know, pretty involved in Angry Birds and yeah. being an Angry Bird himself uh -huh. these days. So, uh, Absolutely. Okay. Uh, why don't you hey. tell a couple words about what are you doing right now? I've heard that uh, you you've reached some pretty significant milestones mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. very recently. And yeah, so why we don't you yeah, so we, we just uh, basically we hit uh, 500 million uh, downloads. So uh, now we have. Uh, uh, done uh, yeah half a million downloads in less than uh, two years so it's the fastest uh, you know uh, or and the biggest game ever so so is it, it, it is it just Angry Birds or that's just Angry, Angry Birds just okay. Angry Birds so so it, it's it's really uh, in less than two years half a billion downloads and uh, it used to be the biggest game used to be Tetris with uh, about hundred million and they uh, uh, took 20 years to reach that. So, so you actually uh, passed Tetris. Yeah, we passed Tetris like five wow. times over. So it's it's. Uh, and it's they have like amazing. separate devices for Tetris and. True, you true, know. true, true. Yeah, we don't have separate Angry Birds devices yet. But, well, but of course, the market nowadays is is much bigger, and and with the smartphones and all the devices, all the screens out there, uh, it's uh, let's say a bit easier to hit the big numbers nowadays than it was 20 years ago. But it's still uh, uh, it's pretty significant. Time, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can you, you can actually say in a way that you have devices for you. I mean, because yeah, true. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I talked to these guys from uh, Barnes and Nobles, and uh -huh. it, it is one of their selling points. Absolutely. Now. I mean, absolutely. It's it's amazing, isn't it? Like, yeah. You have a game, and yeah. they are selling devices for your game, yes. basically, yeah. which are yeah. genuinely yeah. for different purposes. True, 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 true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the Nook is uh, is a great Angry Birds device, uh, as is the Kindle, as is the iPad. So uh, yeah. we, we're very happy happy to be on on kind of like uh, all of those. But yeah, it, it's it's been uh, amazing, right? Yeah, and actually, I had one of uh, my questions is, uh, it's not about Angry Birds itself uh, mm -hmm. nowadays. I mean, it's all about devices and mm -hmm. uh, you know these products here. Absolutely, selling Absolutely. right now. Can you t tell a little bit more, maybe yeah. you know, if you can disclose some shares comparison to you know actual game sure. selling? Sure. Yeah. So, so for us, uh, we haven't uh, seen ourselves as a like a games company for for a long time. We're really uh, all about building. Uh, an entertainment franchise, and then we're using Angry Birds uh, to do that. And uh, right now, uh, it's all about the fans and the brand. So we really care uh, a lot about Angry Birds, the brand. So we've expanded into, okay, uh, not only you know like physical toys, but also uh, uh, all kinds of physical products. And again, when you have a loved brand, it will then manifest itself in in physical form as well. And and that's what we've been. Uh, seeing with Angry Birds now that we sold, you know, uh, more than 10 million toys, and of course we have a lot of uh, the non-official, uh, unlicensed uh, varieties, so especially in yeah, China. I, so I we actually saw yeah. like uh, stores of Angry Birds toys, yeah, but you just yeah. recently opened them, so yeah, they were yeah. not. So serious. there's there's a lot of uh, like copies out there, but again, it's 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 uh, that happens when you have a brand that is is lot. But but uh, then we also uh, expand into uh, animation, so we're now making a lot of uh, animated shorts. We bought an animation studio. Yeah, and uh, you're working yeah. on some kind of movie. And we're more working on several movies. So uh, we're we have David Maisel, who used to be chairman of Marvel, so he's now the executive producer of our movies. So uh, mm -hmm. so that's uh, something that's Very moving uh, moving forward. But it's, it takes uh, two three years to make a full feature length, so it's not like no time soon. But uh -huh. uh, it's it's on the way. Aren't you afraid of you know uh, Angry Birds a little bit losing the hype before? The movies come out, uh, or are you just gonna no, not not at all. I mean, it's it's it's. Uh, if you look at if you look at uh, some other you know very successful character-based businesses, you know, yeah. take uh, Sanrio and Hello Kitty. Sanrio yeah, Rio has been you know ahead. since '74, and it's still you know Hello Kitty is everywhere. So so we're not that concerned about you know uh, Angry Birds like going away tomorrow or anything like that. And actually, we we view this as. Uh, very early days uh, when it comes to Angry Birds, so it's less than two years, and, and we're our growth is accelerating. We're going into other areas, so it's again building a next generation entertainment franchise with games, books, toys, uh, all of that. Uh, and uh, I mean, we already have like even you know like uh, okay, not the license, but uh, like the unofficial like theme parks in China and, and oh, wow. things like that. So so we we're not very concerned about. Uh, uh, let's say power the brand. So we're we're building this. Uh, we're really uh, with that uh, kind of like one goal in mind to to make Angry Birds a permanent part of pop culture, and and that's that's kind of like what we're all about right now. But what about trademark issues? I mean, do you have like every Angry Bird trademark? We have we have uh, a lot of trademarks, and uh, that's actually what has come with uh, with kind of like the growth that we also have now. Uh, uh, 
a legal team, so not just like one lawyer, but we so have you guys, a, so we are, guys. No, we're not so guys. much about suing, but it's just, just like protecting the, you know, making sure that we have the trademark and that we enforce it. Uh, again, uh, uh, it, it's not, uh, we don't believe that you can uh, kind of win the, the war against like the copycats and the pirates by legal means. You have to instead focus on offering more value. So that's like China, we're opening our own retail stores because so we just yeah, basically building a better experience. Kind of like what Apple has been doing with their retail stores, we're also uh, looking at uh, building a better experience and competing with the copycats that way rather than uh, suing people left and right. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, another thing is that, uh, how can you tell a little bit of the story of how have you figured out this addictance to the Angry Birds? Uh -huh. I mean, did it took a while to adjust the game or did you just get it right from the beginning? Uh, how was we, it? We, we uh, took a long time to, to really look at uh, you know, what, uh, what it takes. And we actually wanted to have a game that is very easy to pick up. So again, we uh, removed all the unnecessary things. So when you start Angry Birds, there's one big button in the middle, play. play and that's it. There's no settings, there's no, you know, nothing that's uh, between kind of like the player and the game, because when you start a game, what, what do you want to do? You want to play. So we basically removed all the obstacles. Mm -hmm. and, and then another thing that we wanted to do is, is really make uh, an experience that is addictive, that it's easy to pick up, difficult to put down. And, and I think that a lot of the addictiveness and, and uh, how we design games at Rovio, it's, it's all about constantly rewarding the player. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's not about punishing the player, so it's not like that there's some random, very quick, like, death or something, like in mm -hmm. a lot of games that, you know, like, before you know it, you're dead. So oh, okay. with Angry Birds, it's, it's, yep. it's about rewarding the player and, and really kind of then pulling the player deeper into the experience, so before you know it, you played Angry Birds for hours and it happens. So it's... Uh, it's yeah, even uh, though you're design. losing the round, you yeah. still want to play it. Absolutely. You want to finish Yeah, it. because of those annoying pigs that laugh at you. So there's a lot of these kind of details that uh, mm -hmm. keep you playing the game. How, how long did it take you to, you know, to get to this point where eight Angry Birds... Eight months. Yeah, to build the game from uh, uh, scratch to... Uh, no, no, I mean, yeah. uh, like, from the first prototype to this, you know, very, very addictive... No, uh, but I, I would say that that's uh, eight months to get the whole thing, because uh, things like uh, the slingshot, uh, you know, that now everybody knows, that was actually a very late addition to the game. So before we added the slingshot, you had to kind of like uh, fling these words around and people didn't really... Uh, instantly know what to do. So then we added the slingshot and then okay now everybody when you pick up Angry Birds you instantly know how to play the game. And I, I think that uh, a lot of these things uh, they just take time and, and mm -hmm. uh, we, we took a lot of time to really try to get every single little detail right before we release the game. So that was something that was uh, very very important. So w would it be a piece of advice to you know on the, all these young startups to focus on these uh, little pieces, little puzzles? Yes how to get the users uh, absolutely yeah. but engaged. I think, I think that there's actually like a bit of a... Uh, uh, you have to kind of get the balance right. So, so at the same time, I think that it's very important that you really polish the game and, and you get every little detail right. But then at the same time, uh, you, it's also very important that you get the game out so that you, know, you don't like spend years and years working on something and, and then really you know, nothing happens. So I think that it, it, it's, it's, uh, you have to balance the thing that release early, but at the same time uh, release uh, kind of like at the right time when you have the features polished enough. And, mm -hmm. and it, it's, it's one of these things that uh, it's, it's really difficult to get right. So it, it's, it's again, it's, it's one of these things, you know, like in venture capital in general, that you have this golden rule that it's like too early, too early, too late. So you have to <laughs> like, you know, sure. get it just right. Sure, sure. Uh, what about the young entrepreneurs? Do you think they have a like real chance entering the market? But you know, like two, of course, two, of three course, people, absolutely. People. And there's still, there's uh, a lot of uh, examples, a lot of the successful games. I think that's what's uh, really like what, what nice about, mm -hmm. about the App Store that that there are these teams of uh, one or two guys that can uh, have a huge impact, and and that's something that's really really cool. You said App Store. What about Android Market? Uh, I think that it's. Uh, similar but uh, different so so again uh, uh, the apple app store is is maybe a bit more uh, uh, mature when it comes to things like payment and people paying for the content uh, mm -hmm. on the android side it's not 
that much the case. So, so for to, entering the market, you would just you know go to the Apple, Apple start first and then yeah, follow with Android. Yeah, I think that Android. Probably, uh, probably makes sense. Depends a little bit of course on what you do, but I, I think that if you if you're then successful in the Apple App Store, then you can go anywhere. So our our strategy was very clear that okay, let's create something that is successful in the Apple App Store and then take it to all the screens. So not only you know smartphones, but it's it's really. Uh, yeah, PC, Mac, console, web, uh, TV, anything everywhere. that has screens yeah. or it's, even uh, buttons. All, all screen strategy. So we want to be on all the screens uh, possible. So uh, we really, when we see a screen, then we always ask that, okay, why can't I play Angry Birds on that? And then yeah, we come and, and deal with it. And you are going offline with uh, with your choice. I mean, absolutely. I've seen this uh, little shot of you know Angry Birds uh, out, out in the street. Yeah, absolutely. This Happens all the time. Oh, so uh, right. so we have uh, we have uh, had a lot of success with kind of this real life Angry Birds as well and and also we made uh, this kind of like like taking it to the analog world so we have uh, board games that we did together with uh, Mattel and they are the best selling uh, board games of uh, Mattel in a long long time so so, so it's, you, it's you, been very successful you're just building your fan base that way absolutely absolutely and then we want to have Angry Birds available uh, not on, only on all the screens, but uh, everywhere. So also uh, offline board games, real life Angry Birds. Maybe like, like you know, physical devices. Just yeah, little never birds. know. Could happen. Could happen. Yeah. 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 And yeah. So my other question would be, uh, since we're in Russia, uh -huh. uh, what do you, what would you say about the startups in Russia environment and market and yeah. just I, I, how do you feel about I, Russian I, I, Russian startups? I think that there's there's a lot of uh, very interesting uh, startups and and uh, I. I think that there's a very positive uh, kind of like atmosphere and there's a lot of energy and, and passion and it, it's getting, let's say, better every day. Uh, but I think, of course, there's a lot of work uh, to be done and, and I think that uh, really need to get kind of like uh, the overall like infrastructure and the environment uh, uh, as good as possible uh, for, for startups. And there's a lot of uh, interesting uh, projects uh, to do just that. So I think it, it looks looks really good but uh, there's a lot of work to be done and, and uh, again uh, there's good uh, good examples you know the years of like great games being made here in Russia of course Tetris you know uh, you know tiny little one like that and, and there's a lot of uh, other um, very especially in like games there's there's a lot of really cool cool games being done here so so I think there's uh, uh, future looks looks very good for startups in Russia oh, cool well, thank you for your time. Uh, yeah, once sure. again, we were here with Peter Westerbecker from Angry Birds, as you can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.